All right. Looks like we've got people coming in and getting ready to be a part of our award ceremony. So we're going to give it just another five or ten seconds here, see if we've got anybody else joining us. Uh, but I'm glad to see everybody here and joining us for the We the People Middle School Regional Competition Award Ceremony. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Hello, my name is Tim Calgreen. I'm the Director of Civic Education at the Indiana Bar Foundation. Welcome to one of the most unusual We the People years we've had. And I really wish we could have held our hearings in person. I wish we were in the same room together now. But even though we aren't physically together, I know we have an incredible We the People community joining us as we celebrate all of our students' accomplishments. Let me start by congratulating all of the participating students. You've put an incredible amount of time, dedication, and learning into this. And you've had to do this through many ordeals. You've had to deal with the challenges of your school structure being changed, started, and stopped. You had to deal with the challenges of the pandemic impacting your or your friends or your family's health. And there wasn't much that was normal about this year. But you overcame a lot of adversity to accomplish what you did. So our most hearty and sincere congratulations. Through your We the People studies, you've learned more about government than your peers in non-We the People classes. I know you can tell me book details, like the Federalist and Anti-Federalist arguments and landmark court cases. But this year, you've lived We the People. You've seen in action the checks and balances of power when looking at executive and legislative roles informing health safety policy. You've seen the argument of common good versus individual rights and mask mandates and stay-at-home orders. You've watched and maybe participated as we put our First Amendment right to protest out to the streets. And we've just had an election, which is the ultimate way to show that we, the people, have a say in how our government is run. Because the American government is one of the people, by the people, and for the people. So this evening, we're here to celebrate you and your accomplishments. And first to do that is our keynote speaker, Todd Houston. Todd Houston has served in the Indiana House of Representatives since 2012 and was elected Speaker of the Chamber in 2020. As a member of the House, Speaker Houston has served on the House Ways and Means Committee and the House Rules and Legislative Procedures Committee. Prior to joining the House, Speaker Houston served on the Hamilton Southeastern School Board, Hamilton Southeastern Schools Foundation Board, Fisher's Planning Commission, Indiana Leadership Forum Board of Directors, and the Indiana State Board of Education. Joining us by video today, the Indiana Bar Foundation is pleased to introduce Speaker Todd Houston. Hello, I'm House Speaker Todd Houston of Fishers. It's an honor to join you all today for the middle school We the People Regional Competition Award Ceremony. First, congratulations to all the awardees and their families and teachers for supporting these students along the way. The We the People program dives into the history and principles of our constitutional democracy. I'm excited this program continues to reach young students across Indiana. Having a knowledge of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights builds on important skills you'll need in life after school, like working cooperatively, public speaking, managing conflict, and reaching consensus. I've enjoyed helping the We the People teams at Fishers High School and Hale Southeastern High School in their practice sessions. It reinforced the respect I have for our Constitution and public service. As a state lawmaker, I have the privilege to serve Hoosiers and represent their views of the State House and play a key role in helping make our communities and state better for all. Each of you have made a choice to deepen your understanding of the rule of law, your civic duty, and your rights, all while displaying tolerance for differing political philosophies. I'm proud of each of you for choosing to be part of this program. Now, I challenge you to take these lessons beyond the classroom. I hope you consider volunteering in your community, sharing your views with public office holders, and one day running for office. Thank you again for the opportunity to join you. I appreciate the work of the Indiana Bar Foundation 
and I'm thankful they extended the invitation to join you all today. Congratulations to all the recipients. I wish you the best moving forward. Speaker Houston. Thank, thanks, Speaker Houston, for being able to give us those words and join us for today's award ceremony. Before we get too far in today, I do want to take a moment to briefly explain the We the People program. We the People is an instructional program that helps students master government, history, and social studies topics. It focuses on the history, the application, the evolution, and philosophies of the U.S. Constitution and Bill of Rights. Students showcase their knowledge and understanding through simulated legislative hearings, which took place this week. We'd also like to add a few thank yous. And so on behalf of the Indiana Bar Foundation and its board and staff, we'd like to thank the Indiana General Assembly for its support of the program. We wanna thank the law firm of Barnes and Thornburg for its financial support. We would definitely want to thank all of the facilitators who helped host these Zoom meetings this week. We want to thank the judges for giving their time and experience and expertise. Students, thank you for putting all the hours to study and understand our government. And last but not least, thank you to all of our teachers and educators out there for all you do in the classroom to make We the People come to life in yours, with your students. We can't do this without all of you. So thank you for your flexibility and grace, especially getting through this year's We the People competition. Now, the part I know you've all been waiting for, our awards. Each geographic region will have a first, second, and third place award. Because of the structure of the online competition, unit awards will not be given out as they traditionally have in the previous years, which was based on the highest scoring unit within a geographic region. For this year, each class will be recognized with its own highest scoring unit award. Trophies and awards will be dropped off to the schools by a regional coordinator or shipped to the schools soon. I'm gonna start with the school unit awards and announcing each school in alphabetical order. So we start with Brown County Junior High School and teacher Mike Potts. The highest scoring unit in this class is unit four. Congratulations to those students. Next school is Canterbury School, class 7A, teacher Rob Westfall. Your unit award goes to unit six. Nice job to those students. Next is class 7B, also from Canterbury School, teacher Rob Westfall. The highest scoring unit in this class is unit four, congratulations. And we have the Canterbury School Class 7C, teacher Rob Westfall. The unit award for this class, unit five, congratulations to these students. Our next school is Carroll Middle School, Class Listinski, teacher Dan Listinski. The unit award goes to unit five, Nice job. Carroll Middle School Class Wood, teacher Kyle Wood. The unit award for this class goes to unit two. Nice job. Congratulations to those students. The next class we have is the Center for Inquiry Class Hamilton, teacher Matt McMichael. The unit award goes to unit one. Congratulations to you. Next is the Center for Inquiry, Class Madison, teacher Matt McMichael. The unit award for this class goes to unit two, congratulations. Next is Fall Creek Junior High School, teacher Patrick Bradshaw. Your highest scoring unit is unit five. Congratulations to these students. Next is Fisher's Junior High School, teacher Mike Fassel. The unit award here goes to unit four. Congratulations to you. 
Our next school is Helfords Park STEM Academy, teacher Andrew T. Koppel. The unit award for Helfords Park goes to Unit 5. Congratulations to these students. Next is Hobart Middle School, teacher Tony Curatolo. The unit award for Hobart goes to the Unit 3 students. Congratulations to you. Next is Kingsway Christian School, teacher Stacy Nolan. Your highest scoring unit are the students on Unit 1. Congratulations for your accomplishment. R.J. Basket Middle School, teacher Leah Colvin. Your unit award is the Unit 5 students. Congratulations to you. Next is St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic School, Class 8A, teacher Jacob Ware. The unit award for this class is Unit 6. Congratulations to you. Next is Class 8B, also from St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic School, teacher Jacob Ware. Your unit award goes to Unit 3. Nice job to you. Our next school is St. Malachi Catholic School, teacher Jim Wheel. The unit award goes to Unit 6. Congratulations to these students. Next is St. Richard's Episcopal School, Class Founding Dragons, Teacher Andrea Neal. The unit award for this class goes to Unit 2. Congratulations. Next is the class We the Dragons, also from St. Richard's Episcopal School, Teacher Andrea Neal. And your highest scoring unit is Unit 2. Congratulations to you. Our next school Wilbur Wright Middle School, Class Franklin, Teacher Jim Wheel. The unit award for this class goes to Unit 3 students. Nice job. Next is the Class Jefferson, also from Wilbur Wright Middle School, Teacher Jim Wheel. Your unit award is Unit 6. Congratulations to these students. and the Wilbur Wright Middle School Class Washington, Teacher Jim Wheel. Unit award goes to the students on Unit 3. Congratulations to you. And Woodside Middle School, Teacher Andrew Half. Your highest scoring unit was Unit 5. Congratulations. Next, we're going to go to our Region Awards. We're going to start in the Northwest. Our Northwest Region third place team is the Wilbur Wright Middle School Team Franklin. Nice job to these students. In second place in the Northwest Region is Team Jefferson from Wilbur Wright Middle School. Congratulations to you. And our Northwest Region champions in first place, Wilbur Wright Middle School Team Washington. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Next region, we're moving to the Southwest. And for our Southwest region, congratulations in first place, Helfords Park STEM Academy. Nice job. The next region we look at, the Northeast region. In third place, Woodside Middle School. Congratulations to you. In second place, Carroll Middle School, Team Wood. Congratulations. And the Northeast Region Champions, first place, Canterbury School, Team 7B. Nice job and congratulations. Next, we move to the Central Region. In third place, Brown County Junior High School. Congratulations. In second place in the Central Region, St. Richard's Episcopal School, Team We the Dragons, congratulations to you. And our Central Region Champions in first place, Fishers Junior High School, congratulations on your accomplishment. Next, we move to our wild cards. 
Wild cards are awarded to classes with the highest scores that do not earn automatic bids to the state competition. There are four wild card classes this year. Here are those wild card classes in no particular order. First, Fall Creek Junior High School. Congratulations. Next, St. Malachi Catholic School. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Our next wild card is St. Richard's Episcopal School founding Dragons team. And our final wild card class is Kingsway Christian School. Congratulations to these wild card classes. So once again, here are our state's qualifying classes for the 2020 Indiana Middle School We the People competition. Congratulations on your accomplishments this year. And with that, we bring to a close our Indiana Middle School We the People Regional Competition Award Ceremony. Congratulations again to all the competing classes. For those advancing to the state competition, state questions are available on the Bar Foundation's website. Classes will study two questions per unit and be asked those two questions, one on each day of the state competition. Mark your calendars. The state competition will be December 9 and 10. I'll be sending updates to the teachers as things finalize. Congratulations once again, and I hope everyone has a pleasant evening.